Listen to In Doubt Thriller Thursday. We're going to check out some Devontae the One. This is my mom did Black Air Force activity. If you don't know what that is, ah, you about to find out. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chilling Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are... The Little Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we're back with another reaction. We're checking out some Defonte the One. And apparently his mom is out here doing Black Air Force energy. Now, there's a lot of different activities you could do for Black Air Force activities. And uh, I don't know which one she's going to pick. You could steal. You could kill. You could rob. You could fight. All of these are Black Air Force activities. It basically means you just thrive. Off negativity. I know y'all seen that meme, but that's what it means. Before we hop into this, make sure y'all smash that like button, hit that sub button, join the holler squad, all right? If you turn on that noty bell, you will be notified when I go live on YouTube Tuesday and Thursday. But if you want to watch all my live streams, just head over to Twitch. It's lit. Let's get into this. All the bad situations I've been in growing up, I somehow managed to get out of majority of them because of my mom. Never knew how, Shout out to but the she team. always worked the magic when it came down to it. She's the type of person that don't take crap from anybody. She always fights for what's right and demands respect because she knows her worth and is a leader at heart. A real shepherd amongst sheep. Now don't let this 5'1 light-skinned lady with an innocent face fool you, because outside my family, if you push her to the edge, you might lose your head at first glance she's like a kirby with a knife in black air force ones but on the inside she's like a lion with a knife and black, and black air, air force, force ones <laughs> when you're on her good side she's the coolest person to be around but when you push her to the point beyond anger she doesn't yell she doesn't fuss she gets quiet and mm. you got two choices either get destroyed verbally or physically she tell you what she was gonna do then she do it and it was not a threat <laughs> it was a promise, promise. she got me out of so many bad situations that i was starting to wonder like what can't she do I told you not Ooh. to eat the cookies, you ungrateful boy. <laughs> ah, it hurts <laughs> so bad. I won't eat my brother's school. Bro, that's how my cousins used to be. They used to fake cry, bro, to make it seem like the whooping hurt. Hey, if you ever did that, go ahead and like this video. I know you have. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? I expect to see a lot of likes on this video. No snacks stop. anymore. <laughs> All right, Ma. Come on. Let's speed this up. Cowboy Bebop starts at 12. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch! Yeah. <laughs> Disciplining me physically was not her strong suit. That's like, tough. It That's actually hurt. tough. That's why she always got the man that beat her doonies down to create me, my brother, and... Her doonies down. ...sister to do it for her my dad back when i was 16 one morning i got to school i was walking through the parking lot with this group of strangers and this one dude that was on the football team with me we're gonna name him nate okay <laughs> Anywho, as we're all walking towards the building, the strangers didn't provoke me in any way. I didn't have any problems with them because they didn't know me. Like, I just gave them a... And that was about it. Nate, Put the on extra the other pants hand, on. decides Facts. to walk up to me <laughs> and starts running his mouth for no reason, just to start controversy, because in his tiny brain, he always saw me as an easy target because I was the quiet kid. He was one of those people that everywhere he went, he caused chaos for his own social benefit by picking on people he Them thought the ones was that get Stone Cold him. Stunner. Nate in his mouth ah. for the longest, and I ignored Stone Cold and Stunner, him bro. for the longest to the point where he got hostile like he wanted to fight me and i'm sitting here like bruh leave me alone bro listen them is the softest dudes y'all ever see in y'all life the ones who try to pick on everybody and fight people as soon as you uh, bro come on now bro what you do or they try to fight and they get the the life beat out of them all right you know what i'm saying i've I, I done seen those before i've seen them before now I knew for a fact I could drop this dude because at the time, because of football putting me through so much intense weightlifting and conditioning since mm. I was 13, I was built like a 300 Spartan and had been fighting majority of my life. He was, <laughs> he was built like the cinnamon stick man off the Apple Jacks commercials. See me mind, y'all know who I'm talking about. Like I don't know why bro was over there playing with me like I wouldn't drop him Ooh. on the spot over there built like a dirty Q-tip. You Nate, beat one before? Leave me alone. 
This ain't what you want. And if I don't, what you gonna do about bro, it? Bro, it's always that dude that's the one who act brolic. Look, get folded up, I boy. I don't I'm like you. And I don't wanna see you. Now, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. Boy, stop playing with me. Like, I really slap you in front of everybody right now. Oh, really? Do it then, stupid bitch. <sighs> Before he could hit me, I took my bag off so quick and I hit him with a like, Woo! comment, subscribe. Oh, snap. He knocked the sonic rings off that boy. Two minutes later, an administrator saw us fighting and went to go get the security. So security pulls up, breaks up the fight, and sends us to the office. That's now, tough. when I get to the office, they call my mom and tell her what happened. Then she asked Ooh. them to give me the phone. And when I told her what really happened, she was pissed. At who? He did. What? Her anger didn't come from me being in the fight. It came from these Damn administrators trying to send me to alternative school, which is like jail for school kids because of their stupid rule. Their rule. That's the type of mama you need right there. Then both parties. So you want to send my kid to an alternative school for defending himself? Is that what it's going to be? His mom a real one, all right? Devante, your mom is a real one. Parties are going to alternative school regardless of who hit first, which is the dumbest rule I've yeah, ever facts. seen in my life. Like, why not defend yourself? What if you can't run away? They would rather you get hit and run away to an administrator than defend yourself. Facts. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't, so facts. now my parents got to leave work, <laughs> waste their time, gas, and money just to come down here because the principal wanted a conference with them on my punishment. And from what my dad told me after all this happened, when my mom heard that they were trying to send me to alternative school, she woke up and chose Black Air Force <laughs> activity. Unlike Boy, my dad who tried to make a calm approach to the situation trying to reason with them, my mom understood that you can't reason with people like that. So she raised all hell when it came to her child because I was in the right. 15 minutes later, my parents pull up. My mom busts through the door, grabs me, marches straight to the principal's office, principal and we're going to call dud. the principal <laughs> Milk Dud because I, I don't remember his name and his head was shaped like a Milk Dud slash kneecap. Uh, ma'am? What's wrong with you? Did you not hear the situation? Ma'am, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Are you not the principal? Do you not have power under the superintendent? <laughs> Why did you make me do this, Milk Dud? He was defending himself. That little rug bag threw the back punch, so it's only right that he defends himself. My son ain't no punk. That rule is stupid. It's not right in you. His know mom it. going crazy, Why bro. Does he have to get all that is a real mom right there, all right? Some moms would be out there talking about, Why you got me up here? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Dude, what's his punishment going to be? His mom said, look, y'all punish my kid. <clears throat> I'm taking it personally. I'm dropping all y'all. I like his mom, bro. I like your mom. I'll turn to school for something he didn't even start. I will sue the school if I have to. Y'all really starting to piss me off. I'm about two seconds from jumping over this desk and whooping yo. Told you. My man's back in school. He better be. Everything good? Yes, ma'am. I don't know what she did to make them have a change of heart because from the looks of Shout it, out to your mom. it looked Shout like out to your he mom. wasn't going to change my sentence for nothing. But somehow, yeah, instead of getting alternative school for two weeks, they gave me five days of in-school suspension instead. <laughs> Fam tried to punch me. I'm not doing no punishment. No. Okay. Did I just Ain't no get way. a prison sentence reduced to probation? <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Big dub. W's in chat for mine. Big dub. Gonna keep a pop up. Put a rare ribbon on me. Rare ribbon on me. Fly away on the bus. Yeah. Headed up the commies. Headed up the commies. I need me a bag full of sensor to get me back started. You don't even know how I've been through. The strain is hyperbolic. Yes, the thing is in school suspension. Fun fact: a lot of y'all don't believe I never got whooped. All right, I don't know why. Also, never got suspended in school. I had detention one time, and I was for like not bringing in homework or something. I ain't really get in trouble, bro. I tell you, smooth criminal holler in the building. I'm not lying. All right, smooth.
I was going to see if he was going to talk after this. Listen. Devon, say your mom a real one. All right. <clears throat> I can't say my mom and say the same as yours, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I was slick. I never got caught. When I was in the locker room during PE, giving out the Joey daddies, it just never made it out. When homie told me I want to fight, I said, all right. The bathroom before lunch. Catch me, all right? Went in there. Fan was taking off his earrings, put them down, swung. That's the last thing he remembered. Did I get in trouble? No. The people, shout out to all the people in the bathroom that day. Y'all held that down. There was no camera footage like y'all got now. <coughs> so I was good. But if I did get caught, I'm pretty sure my mom wasn't choosing black Air Force activity, bro. She's going to make me suffer the consequence. Not going to cap. So for that, your mom's a real one, bro. Your mom's a real one. But make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that sub button. We're going crazy on this channel, bro. We are almost at 10K, all right? So y'all keep spamming that, that sub button. But until next time, we out of here.